Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about my goals for January as well as some of my accomplishments from December. This year also brings back the monthly goal check-in. I tried to do quarterly goals last year and I know that they work for a lot of people. They probably do work for me, just not the way I was doing them. So we're just going to switch back to the monthly goal check-in with the caveat that this year my whole mantra to myself. I've picked words in the past and I don't stick with them, but my mantra is just to be kind to others, of course, but also to me because that's usually where I fail. And in sharing my goals with you, I'm hoping there will be some amount of accountability within that whole kindness sort of thing, but also like that y'all might feel more comfortable to share your goals with me. So just like I used to, I'm going to segment my goals off into read, write, roam, and run them other sort of goals. <laughs> and in saying that, this is going to be a mixture of the resolutions I set, the goals I make, and then the habits in order to achieve those. It's all just kind of in there. So let's review. Let's get started, shall we? First off, not related. <laughs> I mean, kind of. Look at this, I moved my desk. Now my desk, faces all of my stuff, which makes sense rather than my desk facing my window. And now my books are directly behind me and my dragon, the Becca baby. <laughs> okay, now we can get started. I just wanted to show it off because why wouldn't I? As I have my books behind me, let's go ahead and start with reading. So one of my reading resolutions is to each month pick a genre that scares me or a book that I wouldn't normally pick up for any number of sorted of reasons and give it a try because as a writer I think there's a lot to be said for not only just reading outside of your comfort zone but also you can learn a lot from books that you don't like or books that are bad <laughs> or all sorts of other things, right? So December was a month of books that scared me. And that book this time was A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. I managed to get almost halfway through this book, this audiobook. And though I didn't finish it, I am planning on continuing it into January, just kind of listening to it as I go. I enjoy it. It's been really fun to, again, compare what I thought the story was about having watched the TV show and loving the TV show minus some parts at the end, it's fine. It's not fine. <laughs> and then having this book read to me, I did end up picking up the book from the library and trying to go along with the physical copy, but I did find that I appreciated the audiobook a lot more. So that was something interesting to note for me. My second reading goal of the month is that my friend Jessica Williamson let me know that there is a booktube readathon going on called the Get Shit Done readathon. I think that's it. It's an all month long readathon and basically there's a whole list of challenges. I will link down below the people who are organizing it. And one of my like not stated goals is to participate more in booktube and participate in a readathon each month. So this one seemed perfect. It's basically all about getting the shit off of your TBR and actually reading it. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm really excited. And speaking of Miss Jessica Williamson, she and I launched our AuthorTube chat book club sort of thing <laughs> because we always end up just talking about TV shows and movies and books anyways toward the end of the chat once we've covered the topic we figured why the heck not be reading buddies and everyone else who's participating could be reading buddies with us if they wanted. So once every other month we're going to chat a little bit about the book that we read together. This month I'm actually going to pick it up from the library hopefully today and it is actually going to be revealed tomorrow in the chat by that. I'm really excited so we won't talk about it this chat which actually the day this is going up should be tomorrow all about goals, so how perfect. <laughs> but we'll actually be chatting about the book in February once we've all read it. And I'm planning on incorporating that into the Get Shit Done readathon. So I'm basically killing two birds with one stone or two reading challenges with one book. Haha. <laughs> Oh, let me get my other book. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, okay. <laughs> For the book that challenges me or gets me outside of my typical reading comfort zone, I'm going to be reading The School of Good and Evil. It's a middle grade book and I actually picked this book up when I was in Toronto on the Wonder Writers Retreat. Holly Davis, and I'll link her below, I'll link everyone down below, but Holly told me that I should absolutely read this when I talked about wanting to pick up more middle grade. That was back in September? and it's January now, so it's the perfect time. <laughs> now, let us swiftly move on to the writing goals for the month. Shall I, should I pivot? Does it work with that? We'll pivot. So I really only had one writing goal for December and that was to finish Project Death, which I did not in fact do. And I did have the ultimatum set on myself that if I did not finish it, that I would just have to tuck it aside. And that's what we're gonna be doing for January and for the 
semi nearish future for the next several months. Project S is going to be tucked away. The downside to this is that I thought I only had like 11 scenes left and then I realized that the last 8,000 words I had written I basically didn't follow my outline in the way that I specifically needed to on one thing. So those 8,000 words or however many I'm gonna have to redo. But the plus side is that once I figured how to smuggle the prince and my main character out of the castle, it should still be set. That part is still gonna work. I'm just gonna have to rewrite um, portions of it. So now, for those of y'all that watch my 2020 writing resolutions video, you'll know that my goal is to post to Medium twice a month with just fun personal essays or articles that didn't have any other place. And I just want to, you know, put them out there. Y'all can read them, other people can read them, and it'll be fun. And I actually, as of this video going up, have one already. It's pretty short, it's fun. It was inspired by the fact that I'm still getting the mail from the guy who owned the PL box before me and what I think I know about him because of that. And it's just, it's it's fun. So I will leave the link down below to that too if you want to check it out. That also means that theoretically I only need to write one more for this month. The next thing that I talked about was having a writing tracker for the overall year in order to get a better idea of how what my writing, editing, publishing, revising, whatever schedule actually looks like so that I can kind of extrapolate that data going forward. This is going to be a year-long process but I did set it up. You guys can't see this. I'll do something more zoomed in or closer. I don't want to talk about this too much right now because one, this is just off of the first couple of days of January, the first day of January, <laughs> because a lot of this is trial and error since I've never done it before. So I'm figuring out exactly what needs to go into my spreadsheet, but so far so good. I think I'm really gonna enjoy this. I can say that the tracker has actually helped me figure out where in each story I am and what the priorities need to be. So for this month, Project Cerulean, aka the third book in the Meridian Map series, will be in the drafting stage. The romance side of what I'm writing will be in the revision stage. And then the first book, just the Meridian Maps, is actually going to be in this pseudo like line editing stage as I get it ready for the next round of beta readers, which I want that deadline to be just before February to have sent it out. Several of my author two friends made a great point about Project Purple and what I'm going to do there, but I'm still kind of mulling over the ideas. So as of now, those are my focuses. And while that does sound like a lot, if you've watched my writing vlogs before, I kind of end up separating my writing day out into halves and I'm moving more into separating them out into thirds. So it kind of works perfectly to have a line editing part, a uh, revision-y part, and a drafting part. All figured out. Yeah, at least that's what I'm hoping. Again, there's a lot of trial and error here and I'm leading with kindness for myself. So we'll see. We'll see. Now, in a mixture of writing and author tube, I'm actually hoping to host some live write ins each month that have um, an author tuber that I admire and I want to get to know a little bit better. So I want them to co host with me, basically, so I can just chat with them and we can write together. So, more information to come on that for this month. But yeah, that's kind of an overarching goal that theoretically shouldn't be too hard to hit. So, yeah, I'm really excited about that. I want to make more author tube friends. And finally, I got a whole list of recommendations for from my patrons over at Patreon for the writing experiments they want to see. So I am so excited. <laughs> All the writing experiments. Yes. And now we are going to switch over to roaming. I don't know what background I should pick, but we're just, we're just gonna go with it. Okay. December saw me actually going to Disney World with one of my closest friends, Cristiano. Why can't Anna and Elsa's parents teach you the alphabet? they're dead. Because they get lost in scenes. <laughs> so dark. We met on study abroad and we haven't been able to hang out a whole lot since we both graduated college with the exception of these little trips to Disney we take together like every two years or so and it was so much fun and yeah it was great and then also in December I traveled up to Dallas for some of my family as I got to spend the holidays with my grandma which was so nice and I pet sit for my brother David and his wife Callie and they got to pick them up from the airport now that Callie is back to living in the Dallas area and yeah. I also got to hang out a lot with one of my in-person writer friends, another person that I met in college, and we got to write together, hang out. I did cut him out of a vlog that would have gone up um, but is not gonna go up anymore. <laughs> and this is my attempt to make that up to him. I'm so sorry I cut you out again. 
<laughs> January is going to be a slightly chiller month in terms of travel in that I don't actually have anything specific planned unless I find a really good deal to Disney because this is the last year that I'm going to be having my annual pass and yeah just so that I can plan more different fun huge travel in the future. However I am hoping to start up a sort of series kind of like my Cooking with Classic which is like a recurring theme even though the book changes. I want to do a travel thing where some stuff changes each time. Anyways, this is me putting the responsibility on myself to do the work uh, that I can for that and with also not telling you guys anything. So my bad, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on shall we? <laughs> this is my random other goal section which usually isn't that big but this time is going to be a little bit bigger because I am doing that thing each month where I want to try out a new hobby or skill. So December it was crochet. I made a sort of trapezoidal um, figure. <laughs> I sent it to my brother Robert so that I could show him you know this is what happens when you try. And I think I only crocheted seven out of the 31 days of December but I really enjoyed it and I'm excited to do it some more even though I have like no talent I'm hoping that I will be able to make myself a hat in January. That is my goal. <laughs> so I am actually continuing this hobby which is really cool and kind of part of the point of this whole new month skill hobby thing. Yeah. That being said the hobby for January is actually more a skill because I, it, web design that's what it is it's web design oh I want to fix up my website for those of y'all who have been around this channel for a while you know that that is something I've been saying for the past several months I have a whole different domain and I'm trying to get all of my like writer names together into one website and a blog that'll actually update and on and on but I need to make a website that's good enough and yeah so I'm hoping that by making this the actual skill I'm trying to learn this month I will put more importance on that. So yeah that's my goal. I also sort of swindled my brothers into a weekly chat where we're going to be accountability buddies um, for our separate kind of side goals. I even made a tracker for this for me which I need to fill out for yesterday actually. <laughs> my goal is to eat five different fruits and vegetables each day and also stick out to my like kind of daily although alternating but daily workout regimen and it'll also just be nice because as me and my brothers are so scattered to have a weekly chat where we're just spending some more time talking to each other. Yeah. So I think that's it. I'm so excited for everything that's going to be happening. Please do comment down below. Let me know how you segment off your goals or resolutions or habits that you're creating. Let me know if you have anything fun going on this month and also let me know what you think of trackers both writing wise and habit bullet journal wise although this is not a bullet journal or the way I'm doing it is not. Anyways let me know. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all very soon with a new video. Bye. And though I didn't finish it, I am planning on continuing it. In, and though I didn't finish it in December, I am planning on continuing. Continuing is such a hard word to say. I have so many books. This is part of the problem.